What's up guys? So for this week's Source Fed Movie Club, we actually watched the movie Adventureland. Adventureland came out in 2009 and it's packed with stars. It seriously has Jesse Eisenberg, Kristen Stewart, Ryan Reynolds, Bill Hader, Kristen Wiig. From the trailer, it's really advertised as a comedy. I went and watched this movie in theaters when it first came out and honestly, there's only a couple funny parts in this movie. Now, this movie is simple. It really just tries to sell the nostalgia feeling of being a kid in the summertime and it just doesn't work and it tries to add the humor in there but it's really awkward and unfunny. Honestly the funniest parts of this movie was when Bill Hader and Kristen Wiig came on screen. Bill Hader is absolutely hilarious in this movie. Kristen Wiig is great as his wife in there but that's only about five or ten minutes of comedy in an hour or 45 minute movie so the story is about a kid, Jesse Eisenberg's character who comes from a rich wealthy family and he's supposed to go to Columbia. Finds out that his dad kind of got demoted in his job and they're not gonna make as much money so he has to cancel his planned trip to Europe. He he has to go find a job so he can go to school in Colombia. So pretty much it's about a rich kid having to work for what he wants. And throughout the movie he finds these two attractive girls that actually kind of like him even though one's kind of likes him but is screwing another guy. It's a very odd story. This movie's based in like 1987 so it tries to go throw back a lot of the 80s fun times that you're really used to and you really like but it just doesn't work like Dazed and Confused had it where they went back in the 70s and it was amazing and very cool and very cool to see everything from it but this movie seems like it's trying so hard it just doesn't work and it's not funny they're trying to make it an epic teenage story of everything that's going on and it's really just a bland story with bland characters honestly Ryan Reynolds is in this movie and I would thought he would be one of the funnier characters in this and he's not he's plays a more serious role he's married and he's like cheating on his wife with this younger girl that works at theme park adventure Land, and the younger girl is Kristen Stewart. Throughout the whole movie, I swear to God, Kristen Stewart still has the same facial expressions. She does crack a smile once, which is amazing, but the only thing I ever see her doing in her movie is take her hair out of her face and put it behind her ear. But her ears are so damn big, I don't see how the hair ever gets in front of her face. Eisenberg's character is almost the same character as Michael Sarah's in Superbad, except for Michael Sarah's character was actually funny, and Eisenberg's character was very monotone and kind of boring. What's really funny is the, I'm gonna kind of spoil it, but Eisenberg's character in this movie is a virgin and they, he says at the very beginning of the movie, but it goes on how he's waiting for the right one and everything like that. And by the end of the movie, he bangs this chick that pretty much was screwing another dude while going on dates with him. I didn't feel anything for his character. I thought he was a dumbass. If they could make a movie based on characters that really weren't part of the main plot, I would really like to see Bill Hader and uh, Kristen Wiig actually make their own movie about Adventureland, maybe how they started it or something, because they were actually funny in this movie. I was amazed when this movie first came out because the ratings on it were spectacular. I just checked it a little while ago again. 87% of the critics liked this movie, but 57% of the audience didn't like this movie. So I'm with the audience on this one. I don't really see what's so good about this movie, what's so great. <sighs> Sorry, I just got a tweet from uh, Dutch Oven about Game of Thrones, so I gotta shut up, apparently. Anyways, what was I saying? Fuck. Oh, the audience and the critics. I'm sorry. I lean on the side with the audience on this one because I don't think me and the critics watched the same movie. I don't understand what was so great about this movie. It was really odd to see that the guy that did Adventureland did super bad, and they're like, same teenage-type movies, but super bad is just spectacular. And Adventureland is just very subpar, unfortunately. So, quick review. I really didn't care for this movie. I watched it in theaters when it first came out, and I just watched it again on Netflix to give it another shot. Still don't care about this movie. You feel sorry for a rich kid who has to get a job to pay for school while he's getting approached by two beautiful girls. I don't see what the problem is with that. I would not recommend this movie to my friends. Me and my roommate just talked about how bad this movie was when we first seen it, and we would never want to watch it again. I want to know what movie club thinks. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you guys liked the movie. Tell me what was so great about it, if you liked it. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you think it's just kind of a boring movie? It was advertised as a comedy, but it was really a disappointment after all. That's really all I have to say. I um, can't wait to see what we do next week, and I'll talk to you later, movie club. Bye.